Hey guys, and welcome to Life with Mayor. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out our Dell Magnetic Lashes for the very first time. So if you guys wanna see how this turns out, it could be a complete disaster. I have no idea what I'm in for. Keep watching to see how it turns out. So guys, just to let you know, I am really bad at putting fake eyelashes on. I think I've only actually successfully put eyelashes on one time and it was for a Halloween look. They were these huge green eyelashes and I put them on with glue. I have no idea how I did it, but I've bought several pairs of eyelashes. I've tried to put them on with the glue and I just can't get the hang of it. It's just so hard for me. I've watched so many YouTube tutorials and I just can't get it. So I found out that there was magnetic lashes. My girl actually, Jessica, Cifuentes on YouTube here. You guys need to go check her out. Her tutorials on makeup are phenomenal. So go check her out, guys. She actually suggested this brand Ardell right here. Okay, so this brand right here. So I'm about to try these out right now. And so the type that I got are called Wispies. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure if they're big, if they're bold, if they're long. I have no idea. I just picked up the first pack that I seen. All I knew is that it requires no glue and I was down for that. So it says no adhesive needed, long lasting. And yeah, I'm looking for something to maybe wear when I record videos, maybe when there's special occasions and when, you know, COVID's done and all, I can start going out again. I can probably pop them on and, you know, give myself a little bit of a bolder eye look. So right now for this look, I'm wearing nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of mascara on and I'm then going to be, let me just open this up, using the Ardell Professional Magnetic Gel Liner in black. And it does come with this little brush here as well. So I'm gonna be trying this out. So it's quite, quite firm actually. So this is the magnetic liner. So I'm gonna have to be putting that on my eyelids and then I'm assuming that the eyelashes are just gonna click right on. So this is what we're gonna try right now. So let me get some mascara on my eyes and let me get started with some liner and I'll be right back. A few moments later. So there was no instructions on the back of the box. I just have a little bit of mascara on now, guys. I'm not sure if you can tell or not. I put a very, very light coat. So I had to actually rip open the box. That's why it's all mangled right now. But it did have a few directions on there. It says to apply two coats of the magnetic gel liner on the upper lash line. It also says to place the magnetic lashes on magnetic gel liner while liner is semi-wet and gently pressed down. Okay, and a couple tips and tricks here. It says apply on clean and dry lids. For best results, use primer prior to application. And if you need to reposition magnetic lashes, once the magnetic gel liner has dried, slowly peel off lashes and gently remove any magnetic liner and just reapply. Okay, so I'm going to apply my liner right now to see how this goes. Before I get started putting the lashes on, I just actually put my own black liner first just to sort of prep myself for the shape of it. I <laughs> did a little test here and check this out guys. It works. It works. So look at that. It actually, actually, I don't think I made the line long enough, but besides that, it works. But the only thing the only thing, look how thick this liner is. If you guys can see this, it's super thick and really, really hard to apply on my eyelid. So I'm gonna attempt to do this here, but I don't wanna hurt my eyes. So I'm gonna try to do it with a lot of patience. So let me do this off camera guys, and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm gonna try the first one. The liner was super hard to put on. So let's see how this goes. So I'm gonna start at the outer corner here. And press that in. Get as close as possible to my lash line. Just gonna press it in. Okay, it's kind of stained. Okay, I think it's way too long though. Look at this. I should have probably cut a little bit off of it first. You see how it's just kind of drooping down? That needs to be a little bit lifted. 
Okay, let me try to do the other one, but it definitely feels weird. I feel like something is in my eye right here. I don't know if I did it <laughs> good enough, but that's what it looks like. All right, I'm attempting to put the second one on before it dries. So I'm gonna start at the end. So I think I put this liner a little bit thicker and pressed a little bit harder, which I don't really like to do on my lids, but I guess I had to because it was so goopy, so thick, and definitely, definitely hard to use to line my eyes. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. And I think definitely if I ever use these again, I will have to trim the ends, maybe just cut off one magnet because it is really, really droopy at the end. Okay, so here's my verdict, guys. This is the final look. This is me with fake magnetic lashes. So what do you guys think? I mean, they look really bold. I don't even know if the liner, if it's on properly, but I'm really not used to wearing black liner this thick. So, I mean, it does give more of a bolder look and it wasn't hard to do. It was absolutely easy to do. The only problem I had, I had to switch brushes, actually use one of my Moda brushes because look at this. Look at that. Very thick very, very thick. It's like a putty consistency. So I'm not too crazy about that, but I do like them. Would I use them on a daily basis? Definitely not. I have no idea how those girls do it every single day, day in and day out, magnetic or falsies with glue. I, I could never. I mean, this is a once in a while kind of thing for me, but definitely I have to trim them because they're a little bit droopy on the edges, like I said but not bad not bad i mean they were twenty dollars twenty dollars you can't go wrong but i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you liked seeing me trying on these falsies i mean this is a lot better than i would have done if i did the ones with the glue because with that i am horrible at doing but if you guys like this video make sure you give a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in another video take care guys so guys i just showed sophia my eyelashes and she was like you're not my mom your eyelashes are so oh, they droopy. definitely are droopy. I would have to cut the edges here if I were to wear them the next time, but they are bothering the crap out of me. So I'm gonna take these out and I haven't even been wearing them for an hour. It hasn't even been half an hour. I feel like I have something stuck in my eye, guys. So I'm taking these out. I don't think you're gonna see very much of these on my eyes, to be honest. I just filmed another video, but I think that's about it.